if I don't keep my car keys and my wallet in one spot on my desk, I'll spend half the day looking for him. A year later, Travis Feltner is still recovering from a traumatic brain injury. He was headed to his IT job at Children's Hospital last August when a man fleeing police slammed into him. The husband, father of eight and breadwinner, still can't go back to work. I spent 20 plus years to get to that point in my life and it only took 17 seconds for it to go away. This time last year. And I had to like talk to each of them about their emotions. So that was a pretty big toll. Amber Feltner was talking to us, helping her children understand what happened to their dad. Now the roles are reversed. I told the kids that uh, mom is in, is in the hospital. She's getting getting treated by the doctors. Last week, she was feeling run down. Now she's on a ventilator fighting COVID-19. It could have been when the kids brought it home from school. I mean, we could have picked it up from going to the grocery store. She was rushed to Mercy West Sunday night with low oxygen levels. She said, I'll just come and pick me up and take me home. I'm like, I I can't do that. I can't do that because if you come back home, I don't know if you're going to make it. They married young and Travis says Amber is his best friend. Their babies range from age 20 to twin three-year-olds. The hardest thing probably is not being able to talk to her to get some advice. Are you scared? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, just knowing that this time last year that she was in my boat, but she was able to at least talk to me on my on my cell phone. When I can't even talk to her or see her or anything, that makes it a little bit harder for me. He keeps telling his kids their mom is a fighter. He wishes he could say something to her, too. I love you. I miss you. And we're all praying for you and hoping you get back home soon. One of the kids has tested positive for COVID as well, but is doing okay. Travis said they'd been wearing masks in public, but Amber is not vaccinated. Travis had a bad reaction to the flu shot several years ago. He said that terrified his wife, and she's been afraid of vaccines since. Jatara McGee, WLWT, News 5.